Okay, let's use the follow me tool again. Another little exercise here. We're going to make like a window treatment. So I'm going to delete our human being. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag out. And I'm going to make a rectangle with the dimensions of, let's say, three feet, three apostrophe comma, by five feet, five apostrophe enter. Now I'm going to zoom in. And what I want to do is create a rectangle in the, I want it to be facing upwards, like a, a, on a wall kind of thing. So I've got my pencil tool. I'm going to start from that end point and go upwards so that, and across so that it is. Um, um, coming up from the blue axis and click and come down and snap out something like this. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to cut a couple of sections out of it. And uh, you can see that this can become very sophisticated. I'm going to keep it relatively simple. Something like this. And then I'm going to grab the eraser tool and erase that section and erase that section. And now what I want to do is I want to apply the follow me tool. And instead of having to grab each one of these um, edges, I can just grab the whole shape and then grab my follow me tool and click on this. And I get something like this. I get like this kind of a window treatment kind of thing here. Okay. So that's another example of how to use the follow me tool.